Hello and welcome to this video. Today we want to showcase Camelon Quarkus and for that we bring to you a hands-on lab that you can execute in the developer sandbox. That's a free-to-use OpenShift environment where you can play with this technology. In the demo we include a very useful um, use case where we expose some REST API that we transform with some data transformation into a SOAP uh, operation that we use to call a SOAP service backend. All of that is provided with the example, including a JUnit uh, so that you can see how to create test cases in Camelon Quarkus. Those are very useful to validate the implementation of the uh, developer um, that, uh, or the code that the developer has produced. Let's jump to the uh, environment so that you can see how you can get started. So click on the link provided or just uh, simply go to uh, developers.redhat.com slash developer sandbox. From there, you will see a button that is available to you, a red button. And the first time you'll have to sign up providing your um, email account or with uh, some single sign on. But once you have done all of that, then you just simply can uh, click directly on start your sandbox for free. And that should go straight into the OpenShift environment uh, free for you to use. In this environment, you can play with it. You can deploy your own applications and uh, learn about OpenShift and Kubernetes. But today we want to uh, focus on Camelon Quarkus. So the first thing you have to do is go to the top bar and from there you can open Red Hat OpenShift Dev Spaces. So click on that and that will open the dashboard. Dev Spaces will provide you a developer experience uh, from where you can edit sources and open a terminal, execute uh, commands and so on, just like if you were working on your own laptop. So I have already provisioned uh, the tutorial. Uh, it's uh, right there on the screen. But when you do it for the first time, you have to click the option there or create workspace and you'll see an option to enter a Git repo URL. And those are the sources where uh, the samples live. So just simply go there, enter the URL that has been provided uh, with, uh, with the article or with the video and, create, uh, and then uh, click create and open. Once you have that, then you'll have the workspace available and it should actually automatically launch the environment for you. So what we see on screen is dev spaces um, uh, spinning and uh, that will create, uh, that will uh, present to you on screen a VS Code like environment. So if you are used to VS Code, then you, feel, you should feel at home. And uh, in this environment, you'll have a welcome page and uh, you'll have the sources on the left, as you can see. Um, and then more importantly, uh, with uh, this tutorial, you'll find here on the endpoints option here, one entry that says tutorial. So click on it to open it in a new tab and just simply confirm that you want to perform that action. And when you do that, it will open the solution explorer where the example lives. You also will find that you have uh, tutorials for Camel K, uh, Camel Spring Boot, and the one we want to look at uh, right now. So click uh, on that and your tutorial should start. What I'm going to do is just simply open that in a uh, incognito uh, window because I have cookies that uh, will distort a little bit the user experience. Uh, but uh, the same uh, screen should present uh, right now there. And so I click on uh, Camel Quarkus and when I do that, then the tutorial starts. You'll see that the use case is presented uh, in front of you and it will introduce a little bit what it is about and what you will learn today. Uh, also see a little index about with all the chapters that involve this hands-on lab. And then you can start uh, the tutorial, but just simply get started there. Uh, you click on the button and you jump to the first uh, chapter uh, where you can explore the code. You see that you have snapshots and it indicates to you where to find the source code. It explains to you a little bit the main parts of the processing flow uh, for Camel. And uh, all you have to do is read on. And when you get to the end of the chapter, say click next. In this case, there's no action to do. So this is very simple. 
But on your second chapter, then you can start interacting in this example. For, for instance, we have to open a terminal and then launch a command to build, compile and build uh, the Camel Quarkus instance. Let's just do that very quickly uh, in our environment. So I switch there, I copy, as you can see on the clip, copy to clipboard button and um, uh, I jump to my environment, I open a terminal as it was uh, indicated, I say new terminal, and from there I just can paste uh, the command, and as you can see I'm already uh, right there. Uh, now I can click uh, on this uh, command to also copy the command here that I immediately execute, and as you can see in the terminal um, uh, Camel Quarkus is uh, starting, and uh, it will start in a moment. We can close on the meantime the welcome uh, page and explore a little bit the sources. You can find the Camel sources in there and uh, uh, main uh, resources, uh, roots and open the YAML file and you can see uh, you know the source files uh, there. Right, uh, so we can see here uh, Camel Quarkus has started and uh, well just simply keep interacting with uh, your tutorial and by the end of this chapter you have a question mark a uh, question uh, just to validate that uh, the uh, expected outcome was what you also saw on screen click yes to jump to the next screen and so on until the end of the uh, tutorial so uh, once uh, you have done all of that you should see your tutorial complete there with 100% success. In my case, I just did the first uh, chapter. And uh, that was all that I wanted to, uh, to show to you today. Of course, if you finish the first uh, tutorial with Camel Quarkus, feel free to also try, try out uh, the other ones. Thank you very much for listening and uh, enjoy the uh, demo. Thank you. Bye.